Let us say that you have been given with a cone, you have been provided with a cone of some radius r and this is the top view of the cone and this would be the front view of the cone. Now when we develop this, if you want to develop this cone, we have to cut the cone at some point. So let us say that we are going to cut the cone at this point here. In that case, when we open this cone or we develop this cone, we will be seeing that it is nothing but a sector of a circle. Here this is a sector, right? And this length starting from A to other point A is the total arc length that is the circumference of the circle and the height here say starting from point O to A let us say this is the point of x point O and this is point A this length is nothing but the length R and in this cone if you take the cone this length is nothing but the slant generator length the circle radius of the circle in the top view or radi radius of the cone in this case and here the diameter is given as 50 which means that the value of r here is nothing but 25 and this height is nothing but the axis height and it is given as 65 so we can write 65 square plus 25 square under the root and when you simplify this you will be getting the value of r as 69.6 now that we have found the value of r so we got this value of r here capital r we need to calculate the angle theta we need to calculate the angle theta to calculate this theta we will be using the equation theta is equals to small r that is the radius of the cone divided by this r what is this r this is nothing but the slant length of this end generator capital r into totally you have 360 degrees you can take into 360 so if we substitute this small r it is 25 capital r it is 69.64 just now we have calculated this into 360 once you calculate this value theta comes somewhere around 129.2 degrees so this is the value theta here so this is what theta is so theta here is 129.2 degrees now what you can do is you can draw a line you can draw a line see the main concept was to find the value of r was to get the angle theta now that we have got the value of angle theta we can draw this sector with the scale so using this r here this length fixing some point here cut the r so this will give us the value of r once you have found that now you can make use of protractor here and then measure this angle 129.2 degrees measure the angle 129.2 degrees so there it goes 129.2 degrees so we'll take it as 129 join this points from the end to this extend it bit beyond so that we can cut the arc onto this see that it exactly touches this line and then without disturbing the arc length here you can cut the arc length this is nothing but the value of r what you can do here is you can draw a line the sector here you have got this value of theta here that is 129.2 degrees so when you develop this 
or this is a development of this code you fold back this here you will be getting a code you will be getting a code 